Fire rips through a buoy home, trapping a man inside. Things were just falling down. You know, it was just like we knew he probably didn't make it out. Firefighters go running from the house when floors begin collapsing under them, and that wasn't the only challenge they faced. In fact, things got worse for firefighters when those flames connected with ammunition that was inside that house. The fire started overnight on Grendel Place in Bowie. The man living inside that home never made it out. Josie Sturman is live at the scene now with the latest. Josie. Allison, we do know the name of that man based on property tax records, but fire officials have not yet publicly identified him. They tell us they found him on the second floor of this house. They also, among all of the debris, found a smoke detector. As to whether or not it gave that victim any sort of warning is still a question. It was a loud popping that woke neighbors last night in this buoy community. Sound almost like gunfire. It was just one right after another for a little while. It was ammunition stored inside this home on Grendel Place that posed an additional yet not uncommon challenge for crews who battled what turned out to be the county's second deadly fire this year. The victim, a man, was trapped inside. I just felt bad for him because I know he's by himself, so I know things happen like that when you're alone. Neighbor Krista Johnson watched helplessly from steps away as the fire took down the home, the ceiling and floors giving way under the heat. I was hoping he wasn't in the house, but, you know, I just knew that he was there because he's always home. Neighbors say the man who lived here was private and kept to himself. A single chair seated next to the window, just one piece of what neighbors say was a lonely life lived and lost. This home now also a tragic reminder. When I spoke to my son this morning, I said, are your smoke detectors working and things of that sort? So it keeps you alert and aware of what one should do in their own private homes. PG County's assistant fire chief tells me they typically deal with an average of nine deadly fires each year, but they are trying to get the prevention message out. And so far, it appears to be working as numbers are down this year. At this time last year, they had already handled 11 fire deaths. Live in Bowie, Josie Sturman, ABC 7 News.